Hi, my name is Alexandra Sergienko. I'm a software engineer and a passionate speaker. I enjoy getting into details of reactive, distributed and high-loaded systems. I'm also particularly excited about domain-driven design, asynchronicity and reactive programming. In this series, I'll try to wrap my head around different aspects of modern technologies. Hope that you will get excited too. Here we go. Today we are going to be talking about message delivery semantics in Apache Kafka. Since interactions using Kafka are mostly asynchronous, there are no direct connections between client and server. Moreover, there are no clients and servers of their usual meaning at all. Apache Kafka serves as an intermediate asynchronous messaging layer between producer and consumer, and the latter two are actually can be treated as a client and a server depending on the situation. Message delivery semantics defines current tests that can be expected in the worst case scenarios. Delivery semantics rely on the behaviors of the producer, consumer and broker itself. What can happen in this chain? First of all, no distributed systems are fully reliable. The complexity of factors involved in the chain is tremendous. In short, anything that can fail will fail one day. If a producer attempts to publish a message and experiences a network failure, it cannot be sure if the error happened before or after the message was committed. It may possibly lead to message loss or duplication if the producer decides to send the message once again in the absence of acknowledgement. By the way, a producer may suddenly go down at any moment due to any reason since it's just a regular application. As for a consumer, here is not that simple too. All replicas have the same log with the same offsets. The consumer controls its position in the log. If the consumer fails and we want this topic partition to be taken by a new consumer instance, this instance will need to choose the right position to continue processing. Consumers may also fail during processing and it's crucial to handle partition offsets correctly. Once again, if it can crash, it likely crash one day. There are plenty of reasons why something may go wrong in this chain, just to name a few. Any process may run out of memory and suddenly crash. Kafka broker may run out of disk space. A network partition may happen. Any kinds of timeouts are also may occur. A consumer may read messages from a set of topic partitions in the order they are stored. To save a context that mirrors current consumer progress, it should track the offsets that have been read. Consumers can store this context wherever they want, but the default storage is an internal Kafka topic named consumer offsets. Consumers may commit their progress automatically or by making an explicit call. These options are critical concerning delivery semantics. Kafka Broker is also not infallible and is susceptible to glitches, but looks pretty reliable thanks to his cluster-based nature. When referring to delivery semantics, we mean the process that lies between the producer, broker and consumer. We're not considering parts when the producer reads some data from a source and then the consumer processes record from Kafka down to external storage or system. We will also cover some details concerning a read process write scenario and transactional API. There are three types of delivery semantics. At most, once means that messages may be lost and will not be re-delivered. In the worst case, you will receive nothing. At least once means that messages are never lost but may be re-delivered. The delivery here is guaranteed, but in the worst case, you will receive duplicated messages. Exactly once means that each message is delivered once and only once. No duplicates, no compromises. At most once is the weakest delivery guarantee one can obtain using Kafka, but it still may be used in cases when the guaranteed delivery is not of critical importance and can be ignored. It's a regular fire and forget use case when a producer doesn't care if the message was received by the broker. At most once is ideal for applications that need high throughput and low latencies such as log collection, IoT tracking, sensors measurements and so on. How to achieve the it must want semantics in the combination of producer, broker and consumer. As for the producer, just set producer X to O. The producer won't wait for any acknowledgement. The record will be immediately added to the socket buffer and considered sent. That's it. Fire and forget. As for the consumer. By the way, at most one semantics is a default one for Kafka consumers. 
Leave the enable or commit intact, but note that the default value is true. The consumer will periodically commit offsets in the background regardless of the application logic. It means even if the record wasn't delivered to a sync, its offset will be committed automatically and the record won't be redelivered in case of failure. Also set auto commit interval milliseconds to a low value. Two seconds should be fine. Let's move on. The second and more strict semantics is at least once. For this semantic, a message may be duplicated but will never be lost. Duplication may occur due to failed communication and retrying, but it may be totally acceptable in many cases. This semantic is good when receiving every single message is more important than reaching low latencies and high throughput, but additional guarantees are of course increased total delivery overhead. How to obtain this semantic in Kafka? As for the producer, increase the producer X value to all. This will force the producer to wait for the acknowledgement from each in sync replica. The producer will try to resend a record in case of failures that may lead to duplication. As for the consumer, disable enable auto commit. Take care of the committed message offsets explicitly in the consumer application code. You should commit offsets only after all message related business logic is completed. For example, when some derived aggregate is inserted into a destination database. The most rigorous and demanding semantic is exactly once. Messages here cannot be lost or duplicated. Exactly once delivery in distributed systems considers one of the hardest problems ever. As it comes from at least one semantic, there are situations when the producer may try to re-deliver messages due to failures. It may lead to duplication. Exactly once uses idempotent rights as it comes to producer. During initialization, a unique ID gets assigned to the producer, which is also called PID. PID and monotonic sequence number that bundle together with the record and send to the broker. The sequence number starts from zero and the broker accepts a message if the sequence number of the message is exactly once greater than the last committed message from this PID. When the producer restarts, a new PID is generated. That's why idempotency is promised only for a single producer session. The idempotent producer's overhead here is not dramatic. Another feature that is implicitly related to exactly one semantic is Kafka Transactional API. Transactions in Kafka were designed mostly to achieve atomic read process write cycles. These applications are mostly popularly known as stream processing. If a stream processing application consumes message A and produces message B, such that B is a result of a function of A, then exactly once processing means that A is considered consumed if and only if B is successfully produced and vice versa. Transactions enable atomic rights to multiple Kafka topics and partitions. All of the messages included in the transaction will be successfully written or none of them will be. So what to do with the producer? Set the enable idempotence option to true. Set X to all. Use transaction API for transactions if necessary and explicitly control their behavior using the API. By the way, this approach is acceptable only when the consumer and the producer are located in a single application and share the same transactions. How to handle the exactly one's consumer in a standalone application? Well, it's not that simple, especially if the destination is not another Kafka topic since such use case is the same as the rich process right described above. To make the consumer exactly once, it's needed to process the record and commit its offset in an atomic operation. One way to achieve such behavior is to store the result of the processing along with the offset. So we can store both offsets and data in the destination system, which can be a database or a message queue and update them atomically. If the destination system supports idempotent operations, you can achieve the same effect by performing idempotent operation than saving the offsets. This approach is also called effectively exactly once. Today we have discussed delivery semantics in the distributed world. We also have observed how each semantic is implemented in Apache Kafka and also discussed possible caveats. It was Alexander Sergienko and I hope that this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe. Goodbye for now.